Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, otherwise known as EIGRP. Specifically within EIGRP, we're going to take a look at the concept of split horizon and when you might see it when you are using EIGRP as your routing protocol. And we're also going to be taking a look at a way to get around the split horizon rule. Specifically, in this case, we're going to be taking a look at the point to multi point scenario where you're using a serial, I'm sorry, not a serial, where you're using a physical interface and you have a hub and spoke design in your network. In this case, we're going to be using R1 as our hub router, and R2 and R3 are going to be our spoke routers. And a lot of people know about Split Horizon through the routing you know through the writing protocol rip but a lot of people do not or have not seen split horizon take effect in an EIGRP environment and that's why I'm making this video to kind of bring awareness to the split horizon scenario that you might see within EIGRP uh, a lot of people know about the EIGRP K values how it uses you know the five metrics to find its best path through the network and a lot of people though are not aware of one of EIGRP's rules which is split horizon because EIGRP has a lot of different rules to it it's more of a hybrid routing protocol it uses a lot of different you know metrics and also it uses, you know, as we'll see here, it does use hop count as one of its metrics. Uh, probably very rarely seen, but we will take a look at, you know, that. You know, I'll show you that within the EIGRP command set too. But mainly in this lab, we're going to be taking a look at split horizon, when you might see it, and what we can do to proactively, you know, be aware of this situation and how to avoid... Uh, routes learned from one spoke router you know to be seen at the other spoke router so in this case you know split horizon if you're not aware of what it is basically the rule of split horizon says that updates received on an interface will not be sent back out the same interface in this case you know router 3 sends an update to router 1 over its serial 00 interface Router 1, in turn, will not send this update back out its serial 00 interface out to Router 2. So what we're going to see in this scenario is that Router 3's you know, 